Skin of Evil. While the Enterprise is en route to rendezvous with Troy's shuttlecraft, a bizarre malfunction causes a transport vehicle to crash on Vagra 2. So Troy's shuttlecraft crashes down on the planet, and they send an away team down to try and make sure that she's okay and bring her back. So they go down to another cheap set, different color, but they're not fooling me. I know it's the same set of cheap rocks, dumb sky. You can change the color all you want. They send down Riker, Yar, Data, and Beverly. They try and get to the shuttle, and there's this puddle in front of them. The effect of the puddle following them is not very good. It's like a cartoon. Data says there's insufficient information on all fronts. Well, I can tell you, if I didn't know what it was and it was moving around in response to what I was doing, I would not be getting that close to it. And they even consider jumping over it. Beverly considers jumping over it. Then it starts talking to them. I thought it sounded like a Power Rangers villain. I am Armas. Why are you here? At one point when Riker's talking to Armas, he looks like a teenage girl. He's got his arms crossed and he's kind of tilted back in a look of disdain. So Armas can take different forms. He's made out of tar and shoe polish and he doesn't want to let the crew pass. He can move around and envelop the shuttle and t- can talk to Troy and then he can come back and talk to the crew. He reminds me of The Creature in the Raft by Stephen King. <laughs> Unceremoniously, Tasha tries to go around it and it hits her and then she dies, just like that. Yeah, it's very sudden. It's not very satisfying of a character death. It has no weight to it. They pull her back up on the Enterprise and the only indication that she's been struck is a mark on her face. But the mark on her face looks like a fruit roll-up tattoo. This is the first time we see the cortical stimulators, which is an interesting idea. When everybody's discussing what to do about the situation down on the planet and the fact that Yar just died, the card quiets everybody down by tapping on the table. And I really like how it's such a small action that really feels like it has weight to it. I also noticed that Beverly's the last one to stop talking. <laughs> she only wanted to get to Troy in the temporary and absolutely no justice about what she did. Senseless act. After Tasha dies, the crew goes back up. Armis conveniently blocks everything that could help the Enterprise out. He blocks the transporter, he blocks the tractor beam, he blocks the communications, he blocks HBO, he blocks everything. (laughs) This is the first episode we see Troy actually doing some real counseling. That's true, I hadn't thought about that. You were really surprised they came back. Yes. Why? Because the others did not. What others? You can't hide the emptiness from me. So Armis is playing games with them just to make him feel bad. He's pretty sadistic just because he's so full of rage and suffering. So then he pulls Riker down into the tar. Which is pretty gross. So they don't play Armis's games of further torture. It's odd to hear when Armis asks Data what he thinks. Data has that weird line and it's very out of character for him. So what do you think? I think you should be destroyed. He says that line with a lot of emotion too, which makes it even weirder. Data even takes a step toward him as if he's going to do something. So Picard has a plan. When Armis gets in touch with his feelings, his hold on everything weakens. So Picard wants to bait him into getting angry so they can beam everyone out of there. I kind of like that they have to make him angry as opposed to getting to his softer side or something because it raises the danger level. And from what we've seen so far, you would expect them to appeal to his kindness, however deep it is. So Armis is the negative emotions manifested in as a physical form from a race that used to live on the planet that were extremely powerful and felt that if they removed that part of themselves, it would make them better. So it works. And then they blow up the shuttle so he can't somehow get off. And then we have to go through Tasha's funeral thing. So they all go to the holodeck to listen to Tasha give her own eulogy. I thought it was a pretty effective scene. It does a good job of showing the connections between the characters and making them all feel more like real people. I thought it was overly emotional, especially Picard. Patrick Stewart does a really good job in the scene. His acting is good, but not for this situation. It's kind of a cheap way of making the scene feel more impactful by having the one character that is normally very reserved and very emotionless breaking down i like the scene well we all make mistakes i feel like tasha yar's death could have been handled better but i feel like the episode did a good job with almost everything else armas is not as threatening as he should be it's hard to take him seriously but overall i feel like the episode is a good episode things feel like they matter characters feel like they're in danger and i do like the way they handle yar's death after she actually dies the aftermath of her death so i would give this episode a b minus 
I like the Armist thing. I like how they have no means to defeat him. I like the methods they end up using to psychologically beat him. I like that part way more than I liked the Tasha's death arc. I felt like that was poorly handled. It felt like two separate ideas shoved together that didn't really click. I felt that the Yar part brought the episode down. It would have made more sense in a different context, but they didn't give it the time that it needed in this episode. I do like Armas. I like the ideas behind Armas. I just feel like the execution could have been better. Well, I say the same thing about Tasha's side, so I would give this one a C. And I like Armas's voice, because I found it I can make it myself with this brass cup. <laughs> so now I got my Armas cosplay ready to go. I just have to carry on this cup. <laughs> you know, wear a wet black sheet. <laughs> 